Greetings and thank you for watching. Today I wanted to talk to you about this book. Cerebral Mechanisms in Behavior, The Hickson Symposium, edited by Lloyd A. Jeffress. And it was published by John Wiley in 1951. And uh, it uh, uh, includes the, uh, the proceedings is a report of, the, of a symposium held at California Institute of Technology in September, 1948. And this one was published in, the, pro, the proceedings were published in 1951. Uh, and um, well, the symposium is named after Frank P. Hickson who, who put the money basically for this kind of uh, activity. Uh, and uh, what's, uh, well, there are several interesting uh, things about this book. Uh, which is little known uh, uh, outside specialist circles. Uh, this is a picture of the participants and some major guys there. That's John von Neumann. That's Köhler, Lorente de No, Lashley, and so on. Now, the legend says that another participant could not be present for the photo. And that participant was Warren McCulloch, uh, who wrote a paper here, um, included a chapter here, entitled, Why the Mind is in the Head. And uh, each after each paper, each chapter, they included a discussion section where they, they captured the, uh, the uh, uh, the participation, the discussion among the uh, participants. And John von Neumann's chapter is the first one, and it's called The General and Logical Theory of Automata. <clears throat> and <clears throat> after this chapter, the discussion begins with uh, Warren McCulloch's uh, intervention, and he says, I confess that there is nothing I envy Dr. von Neumann more than the fact that the mechanism, the machines with, with which he has to cope are those for which he has from the beginning a blueprint of what the machine is supposed to do and how it is supposed to do it. Unfortunately for us in the biological sciences or at least in psychiatry, we are presented with an alien or enemy's machine. We do not know exactly what the machine is supposed to do. And certainly we have no blueprint of it. That's that's very, very interesting. Uh, and the titles of the other chapters um, are uh, Carl Lashley's um, chapter. is called The Problem of Serial Order in Behavior. Uh, Wolfgang Keller's uh, chapter is entitled Relational Determination in Perception, and so on and so forth. And uh, among the additional participants, there is one author called C.A.G. Wiersma, who did not write a, a chapter for the book. But this guy, Wiersma, he was instrumental in starting a major conceptual debate within uh, systems or integrative neuroscience, uh, or what we would call today behavioral neuroscience. Uh, and this debate is a major conceptual debate that is little known outside uh, specialist uh, circles. And it is the debate over the notion or the concept of a command neuron. Uh, which has direct implications for the issue of the neural causation of behavior. Be well and take care. Until next time.